Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we are going to be drawing or attempting to draw Mecha Godzilla, right? So so I am on landscape orientation page. My size is A2. You could use any size you want. You could if you I, I do it big because I use a Sharpie and it puts down a big line. So you could do A3, A4. Um you know, but I landscape is what I do all these drawings on now. So it just fits into YouTube screen a bit better. So use a pencil and an eraser for this, definitely. And hit pause if I go too fast. So center point of my page is approximately here, about, right? So we got like his head coming out, out this way, his neck going back here, some of his body down here. So I'll attempt to draw in as much of the components as I can that are on him. So he's like a robot, so you know, lots of different bits and pieces, right? So we go up and we're gonna go over and we're gonna start with his eye, right? So we'll do like an oval just here, right? So it curves up and around. This is like red on the inside. Okay, so we'll just start with that. So then coming back this way, we have sort of a piece of metal so it's like he's metal all over obviously so it's just like a rectangular sort of hooked piece of metal back here and then we have some more components coming around right so we got like another one here sort of goes back into that piece of metal then we have another one coming up this way So there's lots of this kind of stuff all over him, okay? And then the back of his eye sort of goes back this way. There might be like a piece of metal inside there. And maybe like some stuff at the back of his eye here. Like there should be really, you know, some pipes and stuff back that way. And then this front comes down this way, back around to here. And then we go underneath this way and then back up like so, back up to there. And some extra lines kind of going around his eye again. All right, so I know this is pretty complicated, but that's Mecha Godzilla for you. Like, so, right, and like a little box just here at the front. So this is his eye, basically. Might have an extra line or two just in here. Like so. There could be some shadowy areas, so we'll add maybe just some dark sections. so we can see what's sticking out and what's not. Like so. And then maybe another box under here, another more shadow. So this will just give us an idea of what parts of him are receding and what parts are coming forward. Okay, so that's a start, right. So, um, right, so we'll go, we'll attempt to go backwards now. So we'll go back towards the back of his head. So we go down like this. And this line is going to go pretty far back. So it'll go like this way. Is like the back of his head right and then so this line kind of goes forward again a little bit more so it'll go forward to here and then down diagonal and then this comes up and we'll go back and like a 
line there and then this will go back like so this is like the top of his head now so this goes all the way back right to there So then this sort of rectangular part comes down to there. And then we might have um, some extra detail lines like inside this, like some extra box lines, sort of, you know, robot-y sort of detail lines. The only way I could describe it, like just sort of extra stuff, like just in here and lots of it. So depends on how much detail you want to give you know, your Mecha Godzilla. So you can copy, try and copy what I'm doing or keep it simple. Simple error, at least. So, right, and then we got like an extra line just coming across here. And then maybe an extra sort of eyebrow line coming down that way. Then coming down the front of his face here, coming down, and then this will go back this way. So it goes all the way back like that. And then it'll go diagonal, sort of into there, and then up into here. So, and then some more sort of detail lines on this. Right, so that's what we got so far. Right, so then coming out the front, right? So we got like his nose, right? So it'll go out this way somewhere. It comes out here, down cross and then it comes up to a big piece that sticks out and then we got a bit of his forehead or something that goes back this way like so right so then this nose part comes out down and then we go out down again and we go out and down again and then this kind of kicks in and then comes down like so. So this seems to be a, a piece that's on like the front of his snout, like a piece of metal or something just on the front. And then this joins back that one, just there. So now his mouth is open, right? So we got like a curve line just there for his mouth for like his top lip or something. And then we have these, what you could call teeth, but they're they're not, they're just rectangles. There, one. Then like this comes down, another sort of tooth smaller there. And the line that comes down this way towards the back like so and then we got another tooth rectangle tooth here like that and then we sort of join these together just there and then some more detail lines in here like a vent vents or something here Out then there and then like another box like thing here and then this kind of goes up and joins top of his forehead across and then goes across here 
back that way. Like so. Nice. So then, this comes down like so, his mouth, or his jaw, and then we'll bring it back up this way. It goes, I think it goes all the way up, back up to here. Right, so then we got like some extra sort of jaw lines and stuff here. Going that way. Something here. Metal there. These are kind of bolts and stuff in here. sure you're pausing this video a lot now because this is really complicated <laughs> some more lines like so right there okay so that's his the top of his face right so the, his bottom jaw right will come down here right so it's going to come down the back of his face come around like so so his mouth is open he's roaring yeah, and then so there's like a metal plate here comes up There, there, up, into there. Okay, and then this comes out. Another box that's kind of connected to his jaw, there. You know, extra lines for sort of details that are on the jaw. You know, it looks like he's got like a, a speaker or a big bolt or something. It could be a speaker, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's where his voice comes out. But a big one, just there. And there looks like there's an other sort of rectangular box like here. So then, let's see. So the front of his jaw then should come this way. And then we kind of have the start of more teeth, right? So we got like another rectangle coming down here. Then we'll bring it across. And another one here. All right, one, two, three. And then we'll go out again. Bring it up. This one goes up pretty far to the top. Across, down to there. So these ones are smaller down here. So, 
and then the front seems to have this goes diagonal back and the front seems to have one or two coming out down and down like so and maybe like an extra one on the outside of that and then some go down a bit further and then we can see some stuff like underneath right so a little bit at the bottom goes back there another one here goes up around what we can see of something at the back And then we go back around underneath for the bottom of the jaw. Yeah, and this seems to travel up this way. And in underneath his jaw here. And there's like a pipe or something that goes that way. But we'll add that when we're doing the neck. So more stuff here. Okay, so now we've teeth that that's going to run across here. Okay, so go across, up like so, across, down, across, down, like so another line here. And then we bring that across, down, another tooth here. They're all just sort of rectangles. Another line there, across, small tooth, and then a big tooth. Right there, and then we go across again, up, smaller tooth. And then a piece of his jaw then sticks out here. So we go across and down, down towards this tooth here. And then this meets another part there. And then we have another, what looks like a speaker. So like, like an oval or something here. And this like runs into his face that way with another dot inside and maybe like some lines coming out like so. And then some more sort of details on it. There's some vents here. So this will probably be a long video, <laughs> but I'm sure most of you knew that. <clears throat> so then we have more lines coming down here. You can add as much of this detail now as you want, really. Mm. Okay, so now more jaw plates and things in here. So this goes diagonal, up, out, up to there, back in. some extra detail lines on this edge lines and stuff like so more rectangles here one in shadow sort of there and then another one here do, do, do. right and then there's like there's a diagonal sort of piston or pipe going up there and then one that goes into his mouth, so the other side of his mouth first. So like, it goes up here, right? 
and then it comes across and goes down. So these are obviously the things that make his mouth open and close. Okay, so this one, this piston here, this goes into like the roof of his mouth. So we can see sort of a section for the roof of his mouth then. So there's all these like parts on the inside as well. So like with bolts and stuff there. Like so. And then like, so the other side of his jaw, right, that we see underneath here, comes out from this piston. All right, and goes out the other side. Some amount of detail in this. The animator who designed this thing put a lot of work in. <laughs> so, line there, and then like some lines, some more lines, and lines, lines, and more lines. Lots of sort of boxes and shapes and dots and you know, bolts and things. So we're just drawing this in 3D. The guy, who, I mean, we're just drawing this in 2D. The guy who designed this did it so he could move and like, so he knows every inch. So just adding more teeth now. Pretty cool, I must say. Right, and then, so there's another piston at the back of his mouth here. And we can just see the other side of his jaw coming down there, and then a piston that opens his mouth, and then like a plate on the other side there. And then, let's see. Plate, piston, plate, and then like some parts inside here as well. Like so. So, like this area is mostly in shadow, so I think I'll actually just color it in black, just so we can. Okay, so, just thicken up some areas, give it some shadowy feel right so I think that makes a bit more sense now you can see sort of where his jaw is where the inside of his mouth is there right okay so right so I guess we'll start moving back then so that's basically his head, okay? So nothing basic about it, but um, that's it, more or less. There's another sort of thing here. Don't know what that is, but it's there. So, let's see. Um, right, these he's got like these fins that go back his neck and then all along the top. So, then, okay. Okay, so we've got like a box going this way. Okay, and then this comes out, down. Like so. And then this goes in to here, back up to there. And then it goes in there. It's like part of this. And that comes down to there. And then this has like lines on it. There. Something maybe. Along here. Up that way. So it's back there. So it's like an ear. Something there. 
and again you can put extra sort of lines on it if you want and then there's like this tube that goes back up under here lots of these tubes and pistons and stuff like this and then lines going that way And I can might put some shadows here. Just to show that these objects are like sitting off his face. Like so. Right, and then we have like three more vents that go back diagonal this way. So one going here this one comes down behind this and then we'll go back like so up around to there and then this has extra line on the inside sort of line on top it's into there so let me do this like twice more so there's another one that runs back here and we bring it down like so down and around so it kind of comes in underneath And then an extra edge line. Into there. A bolt. That's what we got so far. And then this comes down. Like so, right. And then one more. And. In, down and this one goes in underneath this one so it comes down underneath into there and then up and down up and down up and down to there and then a bolt and then why did I decide to do this <laughs> Well, I hope it helps someone. Okay, there. Right, so. Like the front of his neck, right? So it comes. So. so we got like another ridge sort of here, right? Bit of a V. And then the front of his neck curves down like so. And then there seems to be what looks like a bit of a metal plate that curves around there, right? And then this goes back like that, and then up around to there. So this is like a collar that goes around his neck. And this has edge lines. Like so. And then a part, yeah, this comes down then off the bottom of my page. A few more room, of course, feel free. And then the other side of this will go this way right and then it goes in around the back of his neck so it's like a collar 
and then his neck will go up and go into his jaw but it's kind of it's, it's bumpy because it has all these parts and stuff in it but we'll just we'll bring it into the jaw just draw it in and then we'll be able to sort of add what we need to right so like there and then the other side of that collar comes down up to there and around and then this has an edge line like so okay and um, his shoulder sort of comes off my page that way and then extra sort of detail lines down here extra boxes and dots and all sorts of stuff lines like so another line comes down that way and then like a piston goes that way and collar side and then there and there okay so in this section then there's you guessed it more lines <laughs> Lots of detail, right? So we'll start up here. So we'll just bring a sort of a curve line down. This goes down around his neck, right? And the other side here follows sort of the same shape, like so. And then there's like a bolt here. It looks like a bolt anyway. Yeah, I think it is a bolt. And then the bolt inside and then we got like some extra curved lines and then another line there like we give it some edge another line that way like so this kind of stuff like that and then we'll do the same thing here Waving sort of line changes direction a good bit. And then this comes out. I think it goes around the back of his neck. So it kind of, yeah, it goes around here and then up. So it kind of stops here actually. On this one for some reason. And this goes here and then we have another bolt. Bolt. Bolt action there, there, and like here, and just give it an edge line. Like so, and we go again. So I think the inside of this part of his collar goes in behind there, and that's what that is. Right. So that's like his neck. Yeah, it goes up to there. And then there's like some extra lines and things. All right, so we have two more of these. So this comes out, down. This goes into there. And then you go out, down. Down like so into here and sort of a box on this one and the bolt as well here and then some more sort of detail lines just color those in shadow them up and give it edge So, and now one more here. So, and then this one touches this one. And then we have another edge. 
in there, and then this comes down, around, underneath, to there. And then we got like some more box like lines inside, another bolt. line so this is handy when you're doing like robotic creatures if you just add like loads of this yeah like lines like that um, it just makes it look more roboty it's, uh, it's hard to explain but it's kind of all you need to do and um, and then so we got like more lines and pistons and things in between his neck right so like it's kind of like imagine there's like neck muscles in here you know kind of these sorts of things so this is probably more detail than people need but I know there are people who like to see the details so I'll add it for those who want it um, And anyone who doesn't want like all this detail, you can just color in here all black. I'm, I'll color, I'll shadow in most of it um, in a second. But just. But just while I'm here, I might as well. Right, so I'll add some shadows now. Okay, so I think that's enough. You can add more, of course, if you wanted. There's always more to add, but we'll move on. So now, so we got like another rectangular space here. And then this kind of comes down, back up to there. And then down to there, and then this comes around. Uh, kind of comes out. So this, oh, this goes a bit farther down to there. Yeah, and then we go out, back in, down up to there and then you can add some edges and some more sort of detail lines here this goes all the way up to there right so this is another sort of rectangular like box kind of like that one there and then we go up So, up, down, up, down, up, down. All right, so three of those. And then this curves up to here. And then we got like another box or something just there. Like that. There and then we'll do, we'll do some some edge. And right, then we seem to have another box here, back like so. And then this comes down. Another small rectangle with some edge. Like that. Uh, right, and then there's like a pipe that runs behind here. Comes down into his neck. Or like a rectangle here. 
couple more rectangles on top behind his head. And so this pipe has some cross lines on it. There's a fly. Go away. Shoe fly. Uh, and then this comes back like so. So lots of lines and stuff. Lots of them. Lots and lots and lots. Um, Alright, another line in here. There. Okay, we'll go up to the sort of fins on the back of his neck, okay? So, we've got like, it looks like a spine, right? So a spine, sort of here. And then from the top of each of these, we've got like a fin, right? That goes up, back. So they're kind of small at the front, you know, closest to his head. But there is like, detail lines and things on them like so and there's like dots all running down and then in here is like that red line just at the top and like some lines there and then the opposite side of this goes out there right and then we have another fin so sticking up here be a little bit sticking out like so and then we bring it down to there give it that red area on top edge lines dots and stuff bolts coming down So, right. Uh, right, another spinal sort of area. So, comes out from, say, here. There. Out from there, up to there, across. And then some more sort of waving sort of spinal lines here. sort of red area inside so you see now they get sort of bigger as we go back and then top of that spinal area there like an edge or something like that and then bolts and some like lines here Right, so, right, we have another guy back here, comes up, across, and then this one comes down, out, down, and like so. That we have the red light area on top. And then some more details. Bolts. So now the curve line there. All right, so then this comes up. So this comes up from that part of his spine and then we go up like so. And this one goes up quite high, I think. Like all the way up to there. 
and then we'll go back and then bring it down into there and then we have another sort of spinal area down into there and then this comes across just like a little sort of sections tying these guys on and then we have the red area on top and then some boxes and detail lines So some of these like face different directions at the back, right? So like so. I wonder how many people are actually following this. Because <laughs> this is pretty hard now. This is not hard simple. Not in the least. I have no business drawing this on this channel. that and then there's like another one in behind here and then there and then around and then some like lines going across Up. so there's lots of this stuff on them so you can add as much of it as you want really Another spinal bone like area here with another vent or fin. Like so. And then this. So for some reason, like some of them have these bits that stick out and some don't. It's probably because of the way they're facing or something. So, like so, and then that. and then there's one like in behind here. And then, so we've got like a big sort of back, oh no, yeah, like a big back section there. And then one more fin sort of coming out here, it goes off my page there and back in to there. And then another bumping sort of section for his back. Um, and then this. There's a line that way, and then a line here, and this has like, it looks like missiles. It's like a section of, looks like missiles anyway, it might not be, but just there. So we just add like loads of edge stuff in around there and then another one there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So I'll just try and even these up a little bit. Um, maybe like one there. Um, Alright, and then there's like some more stuff going this way. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll add what I can. say this video is ridiculously long. So like pipes and stuff going that way. Shadow here. More there. There. Adding shadow whenever I can now just to kind of fill the space because it's it's pretty impossible to see everything. So I'll add shadow here. Okay. I am tired. <laughs> I am officially pooped that is how to draw um <laughs> mecha godzilla um, i hope it was helpful um and if it wasn't even helpful i hope it was a little bit entertaining <laughs> so there it is thanks for watching guys see you in the next one